Before we get to the video, I just want to let you know that I actually make a podcast. It's called the Dear Download Podcast. I co-host it with my very good friend, Adam Cox. We discuss Download Festival itself, other festivals, news, or anything related to the music industry. I've put the link to our Spotify in the description, so please go and check it out. And now, on with the video. What's up, dude? Simon back with another video. Um, today we've got some download news. Um, we've got news about the map, um, sustainability, access, changes to the campsites, to the village, um, and some cancellation stuff. Um, some people cancelling their tours, which could uh, effectively go on to change the download lineup going forward, uh, which we don't need any more changes to since 2020. Um, so let's go ahead and um, have a look at the changes through the download website. So yeah, let's take a look. Okay, so here we are. So uh, the Download Dog blog is back for 2022. We've got some big site changes that we think are going to improve the download experience for everyone. So I'm not sure if anyone saw in 2020, they put out like um, like a YouTube video. I'll, put, I'll link it in the description, which described a lot of the changes that they've actually made to this year's festival um, because 2019 was such a, a failure logistics wise, I would say, because the... Um, the actual village itself was just completely mud for literally the entire time. I spent probably five minutes there and my friend Anthony just fell into loads of mud and then we were like, yeah, we're not going to come back here for the whole festival. So I think that they, um, the village really suffered in 2019, so they wanted to change that. So it says here, yeah, there's a new hard standing home for the village, um, plus brand new locations for the car parks, transport hub that will reduce the amount of walking you have to do. Now, if you've been to download before, you'll know that... Sorry. Not, there's a truck reversing. Can you um shut up while I'm trying to record? Thanks. Um yeah, there's um <laughs> there's a there's a shitload of walking that you have to do at download, and everyone knows that. So any reduction to times that you have to carry stuff. Um, I mean, I don't know what it's like for people coming in for all the transport hubs, but definitely from the car park. Um, luckily you can do it in two trips. If you come on the transport hub, I'm guessing you have to take all your stuff in in one load, which is um not good. I done. Um, traveling on train and coach before so I feel your pain um, so yeah if that's not enough uh, we're revealing your late night DJ lineup as well plus bringing podcasts to download for the very first time stay tuned to see who it will be in the doghouse tent well it won't be the dear download podcast I can tell you that much we were not contacted <laughs> so can you believe it's been three years since the last full-scale download we can't wait for our community to reunite once more in our spiritual home and it is definitely that uh, so scroll down to find out more. So here we go. Uh, a new home for the village, which is, this is going to be exciting. I'm not sure how, I can't remember it ever being on hard standing ground from memory. I know there was, we had to, so, some sort of stones and stuff around it for paths, but that's just because the village had been in that same place for a long, 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 long time. Um, so the village now will be a 90% hard standing ground. Oh, okay, so there's still 10% grass then. So there might still be some mud. Um, on the awesomely nicknamed Tarmac Lake. Um, so if you don't know where that is, where you used to walk into the festival from the west side, I believe all of that sort of tarmac you walked on before you got into um, the actual quote-unquote download itself, I believe that bit is the new Tarmac Lake um, that they've come up with. The village, see, in, in 2019, the village suffered from bad weather and we simply couldn't let that happen again. It was really bad. Um, it's right slap bang in the middle of the campsite, so you can walk there in less than 20 minutes from wherever you're camped. That's pretty good. Uh, plus the route from the disabled access campsites, the village is also on hard standing ground. So that's great um, for accessibility, uh, which is, is something you always need to, to think about when you're when you're doing a festival. Got to make sure everyone um, is catered for. Transport hub has moved. Uh, we moved the transport hub to a brand new location that's closer to the campsites to shorten the amount of walking you have to do with your camping gear. Yeah. You know, if you're, you you don't have a chance to leave your stuff in the car and come back for a second trip if you're traveling um, that way. So that's actually good for the people that have to carry all of their stuff at once. Um, new campsite and car park locations. Now, this is the bit, you know, I, I think I spoke about this in the last couple of videos, that there's going to be no more old school camps, like blue camps gone, white camp went years ago. Like all the old school camps on the east hand side of Download Festival have all completely gone now. And we'll go into that in a minute when I show you guys the map. But oh my God, it, it's changed 
so much. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, the walking distance between the car park and campsite to was not good enough. So this year we make the walk to the campsite arena as short as possible. We've made a couple of big changes. Um, so yeah, here we go. Firstly, we've moved one of the car parks to new locations, not only short walking distance to campsites, if you're coming for the weekend or the arena. So there you go. So they've moved some stuff. We'll look at this again in a bit because I believe the South car park used to be over here and now they've changed what used to be where the blue camping you know, where the classic campsite was for me, Blue Camp, um, to that is where people will park their cars now, which is really weird. But I've got a comparison to see how much this has all changed. But um, we'll go into that in a second. Um, accessibility, um, obviously, I won't go too much into that, but they've just made it far easier for um, disabled access, which is something that is fantastic. And like I said before, these people need to be catered for and they're an important part um, of the community so they we definitely need to make sure that they can get around properly um sustainability um so again downloads very good for sustainability you know we got rid of all the terrible cups and we've done the reusable cups and they were doing all sorts of things with saving water and all sorts of stuff so it's a really really great festival for sustainability um and again it looks like they've got the cup and bottle return point which is fantastic um i like to keep my download cups so when i buy one i just keep it the whole time and i keep it as a as a memento i'm sure some of you guys would do the same if you if you don't then you should do it because it's um yeah it's definitely worth doing that uh djs and podcasts so having podcasts there i'm not quite sure how that's gonna work because People are very loud, and when you're trying to record a podcast, <laughs> I'm not quite sure how that's going to go, but um, it should be fun. Uh, yeah, we're bringing in a massive late night lineup for the famous doghouse. If you're not too tired and a doubt after the arena, you'll be able to rock out and party hard until 3 a.m. Well, <clears throat> I would say the one problem with a doghouse at download is, excuse me, is it's not loud anymore. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but the music is definitely not as loud as it used to be and obviously that's due to restraints of people you know living around the area and why download has changed as they've built so many houses around their um the download area itself but it's not as good as it was before and i'm not just saying that as one of the people that's been to download loads it's so true if i were to take you all back in time to the doghouse when it first opened to now you would see the difference but it is still the only place you can go and party and i still have some fantastic nights there um, so they've got like a lineup, um, of stuff that wait and bleed new metal party. I'll, I'm pretty sure I'll be there for that <laughs> rocking out, but yeah, they've got loads of, um, you know, DJ sets and they've got Saffin podcast there. Um, I think they've got a couple of others as well. So that it should be pretty fun. I mean, it's really the same old stuff, but I would be really interested to see how a, a live podcast goes in the doghouse. Um, I have no idea how that is actually going to function. Um, but it would be, you know, it'll be fun just to see that. So yeah, like we're hyped about Dingo 2022. Can't wait to see um, you there for these improvements. Um, yeah, and then you go. It takes place on Donington 10th to 12th. Um, so yeah, that's that's actually pretty cool. So let's go deeper into the map because um, if we look at the map this time, you can clearly see a difference. For, for those that have been going for a long time, I mean, Blue Campsite is here <laughs> and Blue Campsite used to be here. Uh, there is some giant changes. I'm actually really looking forward to it because it is going to be like going again for the first time um, because you, I'm going to have to find my way around. And I always like on the second day, go for a massive walk around the festival just to get an idea. I normally do that for like a vlog, but it's also for my own sort of knowledge, really. I like to walk around and be a proper, proper download nerd. Uh, so I've got that, but I've also got here the, the 2019 um, site map. So it's, it's to a different scale, unfortunately, but you can see, you know, blue campsite, black campsite, red campsite, uh, pink campsite uh, and the village, which was here. And then if you look at this map, I mean, all of that isn't there anymore. I think you've got the purple campsite right where it looks like yellow used to be. Um, and, you know, where you had all of the um, all of the RIP stuff that looks like has been taken over now by the normal camping because if we go back to this one uh oh no rp is still there but they've, they've they've sort of halved it almost and moved it closer to the arena so now all of this which i believe used to be the um the west car park so all of that stuff that was the west car park will now be camping and they've moved the west car park further down here so 
I mean, on the whole, just some massive, massive changes. Obviously, the festival um, arena's in the same place. I'm guessing it would have been slightly adjusted, though, which it certainly looks that way, and the, the camper vans are in the same place. But having the village here, I mean, that's awesome. It is, like they said, literally in the middle of the festival, um, which is pretty good. But I would be really interested to see how that actually works out and how the new East Car Park works out obviously i'm not sure if they'll be using the south one which was all the way over here over the road over the bridge if you guys remember um so again more information will probably come out this in the next few weeks and when we get the more detailed map obviously this is just the basic version um of the map that we would um that we get now and then later on we'll get a much more um thoroughly detailed one similar to the 2019 one where we can figure out where everything is um sorry that's not a high res pick i don't know why i couldn't find one i have no idea um, but yeah, it's it's interesting times. It's exciting. Um, I actually can't wait, like I said, and I'm sure a lot of people are the same. You know, change is a good thing. Uh, I'm sad that the classic blue campsite that I've been camping in since literally 2005 isn't there anymore. And that is an end of an era. But also it's the start of a new one um, and hopefully the start of, of a new weather cycle. And um, I'm really hoping that we've got some good weather this year so people can um, really, really, really enjoy themselves like they should. But yeah, um, that's that's it really. We've got some other news on some band cancellations. So we'll quickly go to... Uh, we will go to the lineup and have a quick look. Excuse me, I'm still getting over a cold. I had a COVID, then I had a week in between, and then I had a cold. Great. Um, so from what I understand so far, obviously, I've talked a little bit about the lineup before, and I will in more detail closer to the time. But as far as I know, the distillers um, have cancelled their um, their European tour. Um, and the Pretty Reckless as well cancelled. That's two pretty, you know, high up bands that I'm not sure if they will get other bands to step up or they will have um, people come in to replace them. But it is slightly worrying, and I have spoken about this before. Um, we spoke about this on the Dear Download podcast. Worrying that loads of bands are cancelling their European tours because I don't want any more cancellations because the, the festival, like this lineup has changed so much since 2020 already. <laughs> and now with other bands cancelling, I, I, you know, I have a feeling that some of the other bands might do the same. And we're going to, that's fine. You know, we'll get in some UK acts, which is, which is fantastic, or, or bands from Europe. But it seems like um, bands from the US are cancelling a lot of tours. I saw Hatebreed and Static X cancelled theirs for Bloodstock, which sucks because they were two of the bands I wanted to see. So I hope it doesn't become a massive trend and people don't start doing it. I know we're only eight weeks away from download, um, but fingers crossed we don't have too many other people um, cancelling. But again, you know, we'll, we'll find out closer to the time and I'm sure we, we can deal with it. And uh, hopefully the festival just carries on and goes ahead and we don't have to worry about any of that sort of stuff. So, yeah, that's it, really. Just um, just a quick update on stuff that's come up in the last week or so. Um, I'm buzzing for download now. I pretty much have everything. I'm going to do another what to bring to download or to any festival video before we go, because I feel like I've got uh, some good updates on the last. The last one I done was for 2019. Um, which is crazy to think. I know I went to the pilot, but the, an actual download just feels like it happened so long ago now. Um, so I'm absolutely buzzing. But yes, um, just a quick update there. Thank you very much for watching. And, and I shall see you guys in the next video.